So I have this mold uh, for a frying pan and I'm going to fill it up with my UV resin and put it into my UV light. Um, this mold was kind of hard to put together so I had a lot of oozing. So just have that in mind when you're using it. I had this under my UV light for 6 minutes before I took it out and now I'm just going to remove excess resin. I'm sorry about my voice today, I had just had the COVID so I'm a little um, heavy in the head still but I'm managing, it's nothing really bad. The small one broke while trying to clean it, but it doesn't really matter because it was too small for this work. So I'm just taking uh, the big one and I actually made another one. And now I'm just carefully painting them black. I think I give this around three layers of paint before I like the result of the black. Then I took my silver ink. And I am going to make a dry brush over the pans, so I'm just placing a little of it in this little plastic thing. Taking this flat brush and just um, dipping the brush into the paint and then uh, kind of drying it off on a piece of paper. And I'm just using that over the pan here and there, so it's not kind of um, painting the pan 100%, but you get this... A scratched look and I really like this look um, it looks like the pan has been weared a lot so I'm doing this on both of the pan inside and outside and don't forget the handle I had the prompt eggs in my prompt book so I decided to do this together with the pan so I took a piece of this translucent white a tiny tiny bit of orange and a tiny bit bigger piece of the yellow so the translucent is biggest then the yellow and then the orange and i'm just mixing the three parts together into one uniform color i mixed half opaque white and half translucent white together into this white thing that i'm using here cutting a tiny slice of it making a hole in the middle for the egg yolk and I'm just cutting out a few egg yolks here and then I am rolling it and I'm going to place that into this indent that I made here in the uh, egg white like so I'm taking my dotting tool to make it a little rough around the yolk here taking a smaller dotting tool and now I'm really going in there to make the details around the egg yolk in this egg white here just really squeezing it in there in the ed edges I am using some red brown chalk pastel, this is a soft pastel, and some dark brown to uh, color the edges of the egg white, so it looks like it has been kind of burned on the pan. Then I take a tiny bit of liquid Fimo and place over the egg yolk so it looks kind of more realistic when they have been baking and then I'm just going to pop it into the oven and bake it.
Now when the eggs have been baked and cooled down, I can glaze them a tiny bit with some Fimo glaze. And then I'm just using my um, super gel, super glue gel, to glue these eggs in place. I have some pre-made bacon, I will leave a link in the info box below for the video where I show to do that. And I am putting that into my pan with some caramel sauce. This is the dessert topping masters uh, that I'm using for this. It acts like, kind of like a glue and this one actually looks a bit like some grease and that's why I'm using it. So that is it for today. I hope you liked this one. I think my prom ended out really, really good. Anyway, if you liked it, please give it a like and subscribe if you didn't do that already. Thank you for watching this and happy crafting.